What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me. My name is David. If it's the first time joining us today, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. All right, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. Uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, some of the resources available uh, here in Effingham, Illinois, that has been uh, beneficial to me and my family. Uh, one that we continue to go through uh, every single week that help us out with like diapers and wipes and this is only going to apply to you if you have children um, but they, they help us out with diapers and wipes uh, when they can on, on a weekly basis and that really is a huge help. Uh, diapers, they cost a lot of money. You know, uh, I think we spend close to uh, about $100 a month in just diapers alone uh, for one kid. You know what I mean? So um, anything that they can help out with definitely helps cut down on that cost, uh, especially with the wipes too. Um, as far as uh, food goes and clothing, uh, we've actually been going to a place called uh, Shumway Freedom House. Um, and they help us out with food, I believe, either once or twice a month. Uh, and they, they give us a pretty good amount, you know, uh, canned goods and, and all kinds of different sorts of things. Uh, stuff that the kids will eat as well. And uh, they were actually, uh, they gave me a pretty nice uh, down jacket when I got here too. Um, I, all I have is my old uh, motorcycle jacket, which uh, is nice for light light days um, or if I'm just staying in the vehicle a lot, you know, not staying outside a lot. But if I'm actually outside in the weather a lot, you need a really thick jacket out here because it gets really, really cold. Um, and then uh, they also, I believe they also gave us jackets for our kids too. So that was really nice. It helped us out. Uh, and then another place if you need more diapers too, um, the only difference is for this place, uh, you'll probably be asked to do some kind of like uh, classes, which I think is only like once or twice a week. Um, uh, it's called Family Life Center, uh, and that's ran by uh, Pastor Tyrone Harvey. All right, um, so check out those things if you need any kind of assistance in those areas. Uh, they really have been helpful for us, and a big shout out for you guys. Thank you for helping us and our family. All right. Um, kind of why I was thinking about uh, doing this video today was because, you know, I went and picked up my check from work, and uh, when I come outside uh, after cashing it um, at Walmart, it was snowing, and I was like, oh my gosh, man, here we go, another day uh, where these homeless people are going to have to deal with uh, another snow day, and that's that's got to be really difficult for you guys. You know, when I was homeless, uh, living out in the wild, uh, I, I actually lived in Southern California, so we didn't get extreme snow weather. You know, the coldest it got for me was probably down to 35, and that's not too bad um, when it's not raining and it's not, you know, snowing. Um, it was a little bit windy, you know, but I was able to deal with it with my tent, um, and I had a four-season uh, sleeping bag, so I stayed warm most of the time. Um, one of the videos I'm going to probably be doing hopefully pretty soon is showing you guys you know what I used to survive the elements uh, when I was homeless so I'm gonna do like um, a bug out bag as some people call it um, I like to call them a hobo bag <laughs> not very politically correct but you know it, it serves its purpose um, but yeah it'll, it'll just show you the different various things that I would uh, keep in my bag you know because a lot of times when you're homeless you don't get to carry around you know a bunch of suitcases and and all different kinds of bags and everything. You usually just get one bag and whatever you can wear. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a bag that will show you guys what you can use to survive. Also, and during Freedom, uh, they're gonna be having an event at Shumway uh, Freedom House this weekend on the 29th of Saturday. And I'm not quite sure sure exactly what they're gonna be doing, but I believe. Uh, they're gonna be doing some kind of ministries there this weekend and doing some uh, outreach to some of the people that come there uh, So if you want to take part in that uh, Look them up on Google. Uh, you can get all their information on Google. They're they're listed um, <clears throat> So I mean, I'm, I'm assuming like if you're watching this you have some kind of internet access uh, even homeless people today amazingly enough find a way to have internet access uh, whether you have a government phone or just an older phone that you had before um, you know and a lot of times homeless people aren't completely broke I mean they do find a way to at least have a phone <clears throat> and that's something I definitely always recommend at least having as a phone in case you have an emergency you're at least able to call for some help uh, whether it be to an ambulance or uh, maybe a friend that might be able to drive you to a hospital um, anything like that 
So yeah, just uh, make sure that you look into that event, all right? And one last thing before I get out of here, guys, um, I definitely recommend for anyone going through uh, really hardships, uh, uh, any kind of addictions or um, just problems in their life and they don't know how to deal with them, uh, you're feeling a little empty, something's missing. Um, the church I go to here in town is the First Presbyterian Church of Evingham. Um, please, please feel welcome to come in. Uh, they are a very welcoming church. Uh, the first day I went in there, I was just so amazed at how welcome everyone made me and my son feel. And then the following week, I brought both of my kids. It was just amazing. They have a great uh, children's ministry as well. Uh, so don't be afraid to bring your kids in if you have kids. All right. Um, pastor Katie there, uh, she's an awesome pastor. Everyone in the congregation is just so amazing. Everyone is so greeting. And uh, if you see me there, hey, don't be afraid to come up and say hi either and shake my hand. Um, I'm, I'm definitely always a greeter as well. So, um, yeah, I hope I see you guys there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me. I appreciate it. It helps out the YouTube algorithms. Um, and then it also in the future will help, you know, build things uh, financially for this channel too to be able to... Uh, financially help some some homeless people in town and that's the ultimate purpose here is to be able to use what I make off of AdSense revenue here to help the homeless people in this town um, and also before I can even do that I have to amass at least a thousand followers so hit that subscribe button we need to get to that thousand subscribers as fast as possible so we can start making finances to help those homeless people that need it the most okay and definitely the people that want help all right that's the most important is that they have to want help you know, we realize there's a lot of people out there that don't want help, but that's okay. You know, the people that do want help, I want to be there for you, okay? So, God bless you, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.